Hello and welcome to Kids Photography for this time. This is the final of the five part series on Kangaroo Island. It's a bit sad really, it has been a lovely time looking at all these different beautiful vistas of South Australia's most beautiful island. But it has to come to a close sometime. Please don't forget to support the people on Kangaroo Island, travel there, travel around the island and get to meet the amazing local people and try and see amazing things. Hello and welcome to Kit's Photography. I'm Kit from Bremat Photography here in sunny South Australia. Welcome to my channel. So this time, in the last episode of the five-part series on Kangaroo Island, I visit American River and I talk to Tony, who's in charge of building the Independence. It's a rebuild of a ship that was built by American sealers in the early 19th century. Quite a remarkable feat. I then travel on to Penishore and take the ferry back to the mainland. Now this particular day, it was very, very windy and the ferry was bouncing and bobbing all over the place. It was pretty crazy for a while, but because of the storm, afterwards facing back, looking where we come from, it was so spectacularly beautiful. A great place to capture some amazing photographs and in fact, we got to see some dolphins and this time, clearly see some dolphins. There were lots of them, a whole pod, all jumping out of the water. Now you'll have to stick with that to see them. Now let's begin with an introduction at American River. But before then, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This part of Kangaroo Island is called American River. And it's called that because American sealers came here right at the beginning of Australian Western history, essentially. And they, they built boats here, they built ships here, and they were mainly dealing with uh, sealing, as in not building roofs, but clubbing seals for their fur. And you can see behind me here a number of ships, fishing boats, all that sort of stuff, all over the place here. It's a little bit cloudy at the moment, so there's not as much of a beautiful bay as normal, but it's still spectacular. So I'm here at the moment with Tony from the Rig Shed at American River. Yeah. Now, Tony, what does Rig Shed mean? The Rig Shed is a, is a shed that we built to rebuild the independence. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and Rig is a, 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 a rebuild independence group. Lovely. Uh, and. Uh, we're rebuilding a, a topsail schooner that was built by the Americans on the beach here mm -hmm. in 1803. Yes. Before it was South Australia. Wow, wow. And why did they build it here? They built it here because uh, when they come across from uh, Bodan and Flinders met at Encounter Bay, mm -hmm. Bodan was on his way back to France and when he got to Esperance, he ran into Isaac Pendleton, who was sealing on, over, in, over at Esperance. Mm -hmm. um, on a brig called the Union, uh, and, but they weren't getting many seals. So Bodan gave him the charts. He said, go across the old decree, which he called it. There, is plenty of, there are plenty of seals there. So they up anchor, they sailed across here. He gave them the charts, they sailed across here and they found that the brig was too big. They couldn't get in close enough to shore mm -hmm. to, to get the seals. So they decided to build a smaller vessel. Yep. Now they had, they had all the frames and, and timber on board to build a smaller vessel. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people said, said it was built with local timber. I, 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 I'm su su sure it wasn't uh, because they had frames and timber on board to build a smaller vessel mm -hmm. in case they got wrecked somewhere. It was like, for them, it was like carrying a spare tire. Of course, of course. So they built it out the front of the shed here, we believe. We, we, we reckon we found the, the, the actual slipway under mm -hmm. the subsoil that they, they actually launched it on. So we, 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 we purchased plans from America 
and we're building a, a, a replica of it as near as we uh, can possibly can. It's an exact can. replica, isn't it? From, yeah, from yeah. the plans. From the plans that we've got. Of, from the plans we've got of topsail schooners that were built 1800, and, mm -hmm. and they told us in America that all the all the 45 foot long topsail schooners weighing 35 tons. We gave them the information, and they said yes, they were all built the same. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so we're building a, a replica of as near as possible we can. Uh, we have to put an engine in it, of course, because mm -hmm. uh, we're building it under under AMPS a survey. Yes. And we want to be able to do day trips and, and uh, take people out on it. And how far along are you? Uh, we're just about, we're just fitting, I'm just fitting the transom in it at the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, within the next uh, two weeks, I think on the 8th, on the 8th of uh, next month, when we start our working groups again, start our volunteer groups at night again, we are going to... Uh, start planking. Mm -hmm, we start mm -hmm. planking. That's, so where, that's where you actually put the. the that's hull where on. we put the hull on. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, so, wonderful. And once we start planking, we hope that it's going to move very quickly. We, we've got, we're going to be properly organised this time, mm -hmm. so that we've got teams working on specific jobs. So. Wonderful. Now, in front of us here, this is a skiff. Is that? Yeah, right? this is a Saint Ale skiff. Mm -hmm. We were fortunate enough to have a, a, a lovely lady gave us a donation. Mm -hmm. Uh, to build two of these for the community yes and this is the first one that's being done by by volunteers beautiful uh, it, it's a they've done an excellent job of it we've got the jig already for the next one to do mm -hmm. uh, as soon as this one's down off the top uh, school kids have made up the they made up the boughs and stems they laminated them at the, the Pandana school kids don't know that made those up I made a jig for them and this one also, once we get, once we start planning this, we've spoken to the schools and we want to get, we want to get the kids around once a week, the elder students around once a week for a woodwork lesson. So oh, that, wonderful. Because we want to get the children interested in it because they're the ones that are eventually going to have to look after it. Absolutely. And uh, you've definitely got community spirit happening with this. And so, is this a, a replica which goes alongside? No, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with, it's, it's, it's not part of that job. Mm -hmm. These were built in Scotland to, yep. to go between the islands yes. with, for the, all the young bucks that were chasing girls because they didn't have any roads, they couldn't drive there, they had to go by boat, so they built a boat that would carry four pe five people mm -hmm. and, uh, and rode across between the islands. Oh, lovely. That's <laughs> but, beautiful, uh, it's beautiful. The, but, uh, uh, they're doing a beautiful job of it, yeah. It's a credit to them. Tony, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an no absolute worries. pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful in here with, yeah. uh, with what you're doing. So yes. thank you very much. Yes, we built the shed and everything first before we started. Yep. So, <laughs> so we've done pretty well. That's good. Very good indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. This area was a great opportunity for some photographs. You can really see the lines made by structures like boats and the skeletons inside. This one I kept vertical because I really thought it brought out the emotion. And of course, it's just fun to photograph. There's always such interest in boats. This is a mural that Tony wanted me to show you that's been painted by the local community. Everyone in the area tries to help out around the independence. It was a really lovely day, but very windy, as it had been on most of my trip to Kangaroo Island. But the weather here was just lovely. It really is a picturesque fishing village with views that just keep on going and going. The lagoon here is truly lovely and something you don't really see too much anymore in Australia. It seems to be untouched for the last decade. The water here is so crystal clear. It's truly remarkable. So behind me here is Peneshaw. So the ferry appears over here and the sun's just come out. It's been pretty stormy at the moment. Obviously being an island, that's what happens. 
but this is a lovely area. It's where the main ferry arrives and most people see Pennyshore as the first place that they arrive on Kangaroo Island. There's a lot to do here for tourists, but I would really strongly recommend you head up towards Kingscote because that's much more central and you can really travel around to different places from there. Over here, we'll go to it in just a minute, is a memorial to Baudin, the real explorer, French explorer, who bought Kangaroo Island to begin with. Around the same time as Matthew Flinders, who the university and Flinders Chase is named after. What we find over there is a replica of a plaque that he actually left, which is located in the information centre here in Penishaw, which basically shows the time, the date, and when he was here. Let's go and have a look at it. So here I am at Frenchman's Rock, and this is the memorial to Baudin, the explorer who came past this area here. The plaque's inside, and this whole area has just been made really lovely to commemorate him coming to this area. It was put here in 2003 as the bicentenary of him coming through. Now the ferry is just over here. That's rocking a lot. On the ferry, it was pretty bumpy to begin with, but then the weather calmed down and we saw a pod of dolphins. This was a remarkable experience. They were right there, following the ferry all the way back to the mainland. This was the sunset that evening. It was truly remarkable, absolutely beautiful because of the storm. Once we'd passed the storm, it was actually quite smooth. It wasn't rough very, very much anymore. It had been, though, very rough indeed. Saying goodbye to Kangaroo Island. What a wonderful week. The weather really, truly was just remarkable. Creating these beautiful vistas. So we say goodbye to Kangaroo Island and we're back to the mainland and heading for Adelaide. Well, thank you for watching this five part series on Kangaroo Island. Don't forget to go back and re watch them again and again. They are still available, of course. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It is really important. We've got a lot over 100 now, which is fantastic. But please, please keep smashing that button. So I hope you've enjoyed this five part special on Kangaroo Island. It has been a pleasure to produce. It was very interesting to go there and speak to those such interesting people, as well as look and photograph so many really beautiful things. Please don't forget to support the local people on Kangaroo Island. They are really suffering after firstly the bushfires and then the pandemic as well. So take a trip there if you can, go for a holiday, go for the day and travel around. Go to Kingscote especially, Kingscote is beautiful and it's really central for everything. So all I have left to say now is thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody's attention and their time of course, and I'll see you next time.
tomorrow.